And look at the balanced offense as they get double digits out of four new guys in Hill, Nance, Clarkson, and Hood after the game and after the win. Here's Allie Clifton with LeBron. You use the phrase fast tracking a lot as of late. 57 points for the new faces yeah. tonight. What is fast tracking? What does that mean for you? What does that demand? Well, it means, uh, you know, we're going to have to learn on the fly. Because right now, you know, with the games that we have, we're playing every other day, basically. So we want to try to fast track what we can do. So that means more in film sessions, paying attention to detail when we have our shoot arounds. And, uh, you know, and then when we get on the floor, being able to implement that right away. So, um, you know, we have to fast track some things and we understand that. We won't shortcut the process because that's not what we're about, but we got to fast track some things. You often talk about how well you feel on the second night of back to backs. You have numbers to prove it. Your 11th triple double of the season through three. How much of that is simply just wanting to establish a tone, not just tonight, but for the way you guys have to play? Well, I'm the leader of this team, and uh, no matter if it's a back to back or three or four nights, I got to have energy, I got to have effort, and I got to be in tune with the game plan. So, you know, I've always tried to be a triple threat anytime I hit the floor, and tonight resulted in a triple double. Closer look at LeBron tonight, Smitty. Dishing. Well, doing a nice job. As you can see, there's a guy called the Mitten. When they're knocking down threes, this team is extremely hard to defend. Love this play. Watch the pass by JR. They're having fun. Brendan talked about it. But more importantly, watch their bench. I didn't see a lot of this about two months ago. They weren't having any fun, Brendan. And you like what he's doing right now. They're getting out, and LeBron James is having his way with this floor space and these young guys doing a nice job. Listen, right now, LeBron James, everybody knows it's his show. There, there's no one else trying to impede on that. These guys are playing off of him. LeBron's doing a good job of finding his teammates or making a play. More importantly, he call, he's causing a problem. He's causing a problem until you stop him. Then when you stop him, he finds his teammates. You know, at some point, Kevin Love's going to get back here, and we're going to look at this group and how they now gel him into this new group into the playoffs. And we were just talking about it. Look, Tristan, only two points. You know, phasing out a little bit. Nance has played well. Where's Tristan Thompson fit in when Kevin Love gets back? I think Larry Nance is going to bring the best out of Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson has to realize that uh, with the way Larry Nance Jr. is playing, he's outplaying him right now. And when Kevin Love comes back, there's going to be a crunch for minutes. I think that's going to bring the best out of Tristan Thompson. He understands now he's going to have to rev it up and be that guy that he's been the last couple of seasons when this team was going to the NBA Finals. That energy, tough glue guy that the Cleveland Cavaliers couldn't have won the championship without. Larry Nance Jr. is going to, that's going to be the wake-up call for Tristan Thompson. And to Brendan, I'm going to take people behind the scenes. He's going to help so much to Brendan's point. In practice, it's going to be some wars. Oh, yeah. Because you have two guys that are similar like. The competition pushing him. Yeah, yeah. You, you want that. And yeah. that's what makes games iron easier. Iron sharpens iron. When you have great practices, that's what makes games easier. And I think now you have a guy in Tristan Thompson and Larry Nance Jr., both live guys, energy guys. They're both going to have to come bring it. And then you have Kevin Love with Larry Nance Jr. rolling that hard. That gives a lot of space for Kevin Love to knock down threes. Kevin Love's a good passer, too. He can find him a lot on slips to the basket.